Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. Welcome to the Geek Group. This is part three, I think. I don't know, the crew doesn't know. Something um, other. Yeah, Jabroni says three. This is part three because I wanted to do this a while back and I, we haven't had time. I, right. We've been too busy to make videos like this. Mm -hmm. And we had a day, we had a nice morning where we could screw around. You wore your tape shirt. Yes, I wore my tape shirt. So I wore what, my tape shirt. Tape shirt. It's and a I tape day. We could talk about tape. Sounds good. What do you got? I have, this is so cool. Whoa. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Hmm. Now, let's open it up, because this is, this is truly badass. This is a field recorder. Now, I'm going to lift there. So we'll just take the top right off. This is. Oh, wow. It's now, got like a. Uh... Well, that's so you can reach the controls. OK. Yeah. All right, now this is a video reel-to-reel. -reel. It's the only one we own, though we have another one coming. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool how they, because they had to compact a reel-to-reel, so the way they did it. They stacked. They're the stacked. There's, there's two different reels here. Now, I'm going to lay this down so that we can use it. And let's, let's go through some basic parts. Um, first, we're going to need power. And thanks to the awesome Tasmanian, we have. <laughs> We have a battery for a lighting system. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of professional video uses 12 volts on a four-pin XLR. Right. We don't have a four-pin XLR plug in the wall power supply, but we got this battery, so we're going to run it off this for the demo. Um, I'm going to power it up. Now, let's. I'm just going to rewind and see if I can get transport to move. I've never turned this on before now. Oh! Oh, what? It was moving. Hang on. It takes a second to spin the heads up. There you and go. And then it moves. But it has to spin the heads up just to rewind. All right. Wow. <laughs> That's so vicious. All right. So this is our heads. Oh, they label them. And yeah, it's kind of neat. It says, you know, there's here. Slide I'll over, it over. Slide over. You can see there's, this is, this is the head unit. And there's the erase head, the record and playback head, and then I don't know. Just I, a, I, I, maybe nothing. Maybe but nothing. I'm going to take the reels off. I'm going to move that. OK, so that's locked down. So to take the reels off, you give this quarter turn. Yeah, but slide that over and show, because you got the little wings that All come right. out. Yeah, I'll show my phone. So this is our take-up head. OK. I, I didn't know which was which, so I just hit rewind, and then whatever it ends up on is the feed head. Right. So this comes off. And then on the bottom here, it, that one's also off. We just slide that right off. Now, we've only got a little bit of tape. But this is one inch Ampex 196 tape, so it's it's pretty serious tape. Now, I've never threaded this machine before. Okay, so, well they got the little arrows on yep, it. Yep, so I'm just gonna go by the arrows. Now I'm the, you can see there's pins. These pins don't retract. Right. So I'm so just gonna drop goes, it right down and line up to the pins. Yeah. And then I'm gonna turn this 90 degrees, and you'll see the little green dots. There's there's two green dots. Well, there's a green dot here and a red dot here, and I'm gonna turn this over. And as you and turn it over, you see the tabs out. come out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's not going anywhere. So first arrow says go over there, and then under here. This is our tension switch. And then I'm coming under here, and then we go up a little ramp on the side. You can see it goes uphill through the ramp. And then I'm guessing we go around here, and it doesn't say which way to go. But I'm reasonably certain I want to break out to this side. And pull that down and through. And then come back around on this side and thread down in there. There's some field op who's done this 10,000 times who can do it in his sleep. Now, this has a little arrow to pop that out. And that's another head. That's, that's, that's an erase head. Could a record playback head. Could this this could be audio. Yes, that would make sense because audio would be linear. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna keep. Pull, yep, but I got to pull out some slack. So then we go through here. But yeah, you're absolutely right. That's audio. Now we're up here. So hold that a moment, and I'm gonna move this back to the middle, and I'm gonna put this back on, which lines up to a drive cog down there, and that. You can feel it's engaged, but it still spins freely. Um, so we're, our green dot is on red, which means unlocked. Drop this in place. Lock that, and the tabs come out. And now it, it's on there. It won't come off. So do the finger push. 
right there. Pull that around. That's just friction on that? That's just friction. That's all you really? need. Yep, you just put a couple of spools on and, now, and you're good. You, you can't see it on the camera, but the bottom one rotates. Yeah, they're the kind opposite. of rotating. Yeah. Cool. And, and here, I, maybe you guys can see it. I'll turn the top one around. You can, see the, you can see the fingerprints on the bottom. You can see the bottom reel turns in the opposite direction. Now, and then we close that. So here's what's happening. We come off the supply reel on the bottom. We go through the tensioner here, and there's, that's just a guide roller. We come around, we go up the hill. We go around the heads. We come around this way, and then we go back out. We go over the audio erase head, the audio record playback head, around here, and then onto the take-up reel. Now, this is cool because when we talked about heads before, this is a linear machine. This is still tape. But here's a cool thing. Because we had people comment in, why can't you do video on a reel-to-reel? -reel? Well, you can, but you can't do it on a classic type of reel-to-reel -reel because right. you have so much information. Yes. And here's, it, it's a bandwidth thing. So here's the thing. When you're dealing with a reel-to-reel, -reel, like an audio reel-to-reel, the head just looks like this, and let's say you have four tracks, okay? You have head one, two, three, four, all on the same head. Um, you've got four subheads, like separate mm -hmm. little heads, and they record audio track one, two, three, and four, okay? Right. Or like, you know, one, two, three, four, depending, the formats change depending on what you're doing. And for audio, that's fine. Right. Because you can move the tape along at 15 inches a minute, or second, or... inches per second. So. With video, they had to get creative. The head is a circle because the cylinder looks like that. And the head is mounted like that. And the cylinder on its side, you see the head. And the tape is brought across the head at an angle. Diagonally. It's really hard to draw. But the, the idea is you have a spinning head like this, and the tape goes across to, at a slight angle, and the tape wraps around the head. And this works in VCRs, this works in this. So if so, it's going around the backside, the tape would come in like here and go out like here. Yeah. And so the it, idea uh, is... It's sloped on, down the backside. Let's say this is our piece of audio tape. On an audio tape, your audio tracks... Run the length. Run the length of the tape. Let's say this is our video tape. On a videotape, they go like this. They're diagonal. Swipe. They're diagonal. And the reason is and that, that the angle would be much lower than what you're drawing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a much tighter angle. But the reason is, with these, you have all this wasted space. Mm -hmm. With this, you can cram as much data as physically possible onto the tape. It's just compression of data. So. With audio, it's a continuous waveform. The audio waveform out is just a simple analog waveform. With video, it isn't. You've got all kinds of stuff. You've got blanking and sync and fields and blah, all kinds of stuff. So you need to have a way to synchronize the tape movement to the heads for playback. And that's what tracking does. And ah. if you remember VCRs oh, with yeah. the tracking now. That's what it does. That's what tracking is. Now, so basically one slice diagonal through the tape is one frame of your video? Not necessarily. And it's more complicated than that because there's more to it. That, that's just the video data. Okay. Okay. So here, this is, this is where we go completely off the rails. And here's where I teach you how to subvert copy protection. Really? Yep. Okay. Watch. On your videotape, this is our piece of videotape. Okay. Let's divide the tape into two main areas. Down on the bottom, you've got your video. Okay. Okay. That's your video fields. And that's just video data. Okay. Up here, you've got two audio tracks. For your stereo. For your stereo audio. Okay. And then you've got another track up here that's recorded linearly. Mm -hmm. That's called the control track. Okay. And that's... Time code is the best thing I can analog it to. Okay? Right. It works kind of like time code. It's called a control track. Now, without a control track, you can do some stuff but not other stuff. Okay. You can play back without a control track, but you can't copy. 
So okay. if you simply get rid of the control back, the control track, you can record the video on a special recorder, mm -hmm. but you can't copy that tape to the next VCR. It okay. won't work. So that was used as a, a method of copy, copy management back in the day. At least this is how it was explained to me when I, I took a bunch of classes at JRTV, and this is how they explained it to us. I could be totally wrong. Please do your own research on this. I could have that wrong. I know about the audio, and I know about the video. The control track is a kind of a weird thing. Um, but I, that's how it was explained obscurity. to me. Well, yeah, it's security through obscurity, because most people have no idea how this stuff works. Mm -hmm. So this is why when we turn this on, at this point, we should be able to hit play. And when we do, you'll see the video head spin up, and the audio comes through here. So let's hit play, and we'll get a look at everything moving. So it's gonna, it just took the tension out for a second. This spins up, and now we're going to come into... To an impressive speed. Well, it's got to get... It's, uh, ah! <laughs> I made it angry! I went in the right... I went in the right directions, didn't I? Yeah. That totally... It spooled up in the right direction, but it took the tension off for an instant, and the tape collapsed down into the thing, and it got frightened. It got unhappy. very upset yeah. with you. Let's try this again. I, I have a feeling this may be why we got this donated. <laughs> oh, and now we've got a spin in it, which is really bad. If there's a loop in the tape, it's it it's it's because it, it came off. Yeah. Oh, that's such a wonderful sound. Ah, it's not so bad. <laughs> okay, you got, okay, that's just another right. tensioner right there. This is? Yeah. No, I think it's just no, a there's a, there's a Oh, there's one up in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sucks at its job. I'm going to hold manual tension on here. Because you can see... What did you hit? It's not liking you. It doesn't, it wants that to be out a little bit. It doesn't want the tape tight against the head when it spins up. We've got speed, and we're moving, and we're moving tape. Uh, yep, that's the way it's supposed to work. That's, everything's happy. And yeah, that, that thing just sings along. That's really, really crazy high. Um, I wonder if there's video on here. Okay, don't do that, don't do that. Don't, I made it angry. I, it said power cell, like battery or external. This is external. I was like, hey, maybe it's got an internal battery. battery. That's not the battery. It's that's the ba oh, okay. that's adjustments and stuff. Well, I'm not seeing anything that says battery. I'm so. going to try playing again. This is so cool. Speed. There we go. Okay. That's a little noisy for the guy holding this to be right next to Just the camera. Just imagine how this was back in the. This is a field recorder. Okay. So you've got a guy holding like a 30-pound camera. And another guy. And another, with this. yeah, another, and it might be the same guy. Like they, they could wear this in a shoulder strap and a big, you know, uh, the the big porta brace bags, the big blue bags, yeah. and like you got to be a gorilla to be a camera dude. This was hard work back in the day. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool. It's just, it's a really neat look at antique technology. They got three separate audio channels, so three separate. Yeah. Then and you could just have three microphones and mix it back at home, you know, mm -hmm. in, in the editing bay. But you can see all the inputs. We've got audio it's ends. Like the thing that gets me is the tape is like all exposed right here. Sure, why not? Okay. In a professional environment, this is totally acceptable. Okay. And for consumer stuff, it's got to be in a cassette. But if you open up a video cassette, yeah, just, it's yeah. still two reels and tape. And if you take apart a VCR, it's all still, the major parts you'll find here. It's, well, it's all hidden, though. You never yeah. see it. Well, people can't play with these things. God forbid. I mean, we, we have to take all the sharp I mean, edges the, off the The whole world. mechanism for sucking the tape out of a VCR tape to put it around the drum. Yeah. Is, yeah. And it's, that solves the loading stuff. And here, they do, they, they solve the linear, the, the angular feed across the heads by just stacking them and you come in yeah. low and you go out high and there's the, nothing on the back. No, I'm looking at the line, the, the, the tape coming in at the bottom is slightly yeah. overlapping the yeah. tape at the top. Take a look, you can, you can see that there. The, uh, the head is actually at an angle. Yeah, not, at a slight angle. It's not vertical. That's just it's really subtle, neat. but the tape actually, it's, and that's why they call it helic, helic, helical scan. Helical scan. Oh, we're stopping. We're, we ran out of tape, I think. Did we run out of tape or we ran out of battery? I think we ran out of tape. All right, let's, let's hit rewind. This is so Somebody cool. Somebody used a term, st 
fiction or something like that, talking about the um, the way the tape adheres to the drum as it's going around. I've got to look that word up. I haven't heard it. Stiction? Stiction. Um, stiction is. You ever see the guys that play the wine glass? Yeah. That's stiction. Okay. That's where it's it's not it's it's. It's not it's it's not friction. It's like it's binding and then releasing and then binding and releasing. Okay. That's stiction. Because there was something about you can't the, the you can ah see here's it. the head. I don't I don't know if you'll be able to get a shot of it, but I can actually Should show you what to. the head looks like. Um, zoom in right there. See that little black rectangle? Look on the monitor, Paul. You can see yeah. it. See yeah. the little black rectangle? There's the head. That's the record playback head. And oh no, this is the playback head here. This is the record head here. Okay. And then we'll come around. That's the erase heads. Flying okay. erase head. I remember. Yeah, so flying I... erase heads. Um, as a, well, okay. Here's the difference. Because you'll hear the term flying erase head. Well, there's a flying erase head and then there's a stationary standard linear erase head. These, these two heads here I, are probably record playback. Yeah, there's four. Um, there's... Yeah, these are record playback heads here. And it doesn't mean that's playback and that's record. They're both record playback heads. Um, and then these are the flying erase heads because these are moving, spinning heads. That's okay. it, it allows them to do a edit, hit pause, and then because yeah, the, it, it lets it, you do tighter edits. It used to be when you hit pause, you'd get this big block of yep. static. And that's I have I have a VCR, a Hitachi from a million years ago. It's a five head with a flying erase head. See, that's pretty hot. Yeah, that's that was, good. As a matter of fact, I brought it in. I was going to get it was I think the belt let's look here. This, uh, I'll let Jabroni zoom in really tight right here. That is the stationary erase head here. And then this, which you won't be able to see, I might be able to show it from the overhead. Um, under this thing here is the audio and control track record and erase head. And yeah, there's four tracks in there, so that's three audio and one control. Um, and this, when it erases, goes Yes. Okay. Whereas so your flying your, erase head goes Yep, you're, he, you're, you're messing up all yep, those you, tracks. you kill everything. So there's that much that's going so to be So you lose static. your tracking, your phase, mm -hmm. everything goes completely I brought out. that thing in to have a guy look at it once, and I was, he wanted 100 bucks to fix it, and I said, well, I'm not really interested. And he, of all the ones I had, because I had several VCRs, he said, this is the one I wanted to keep because it was like studio grade. Back then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I still got that one. <laughs> I have no idea what the model of this is, and it'd probably be handy to know for the title. It just says Sony Video Quarter. Well, take a look. Is there any little... Look, okay. on here. You... Let's check the back. This is a Sony BVH-500A Bravo Victor Hotel-500Alpha Video Quarter. I would call it a video field recorder, but... You get the bottom, I get the top. I got the bottom. No, I had the bottom. You do not have the bottom. There you go. All right, we're in. It's safe. Oh, you got to show the little door yeah. thing. That's, that's I think that's cute. cool. I love that we get to play with cool toys like this. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. As always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.